Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome to Friday Night Football Under the Lights. Two home games, two opponents, beaten at Wembley in a row. Last league home game, Sheffield Wednesday. Today, this evening, Bristol City. Former manager Nigel Pearson brought our manager Liam Rossini to the club as a player. But it should be, should be a good game, looking forward to it. Bristol City will have potentially a new sign on the pitch as well in the form of Taylor Gardner-Hickman. We will see Scott Twine make his home debut. Should be a good game under the lights. Let's get down to the MKM. Come on, City! minutes in, corner, won by two fan charging forwards and I think it was Matty James who just managed to get in the way, Twine as he's taken the corner has slipped oh. appeals for handball from the north stand, waved away 16 minutes in and it's 1-0 and it's Ozan two fan again lovely working it out from the back from a goal kick Jones does really well under pressure in the box to get it off to Louis Coyle. Coyle found the lap, who, well, he deflected off his shoulder to Traore, who worked it back to the lap, who drove down the line, got a cross in, and there was two fans to turn it home. Come on! 26 in, Bristol City have just had their first big chance of this game. Sam Bell got the better of Louis Coyle and Regan Slater, put what was, I think, a shot. Naki Wells in from onside from an onside position can I add um, deflected the ball away from where Ingram was going to claim it down to Mark Sykes who from about two yards out fired over still 1-0 second chance for Bristol City great block by McLaughlin Sykes put a cross in Naki Wells volleyed effort blocked by McLaughlin or Greaves but they're coming into this game a little bit more now we seem to have just lost our shape a little bit defensively and since we've scored, taken our foot off a little bit, we need to rectify that. 30 second minute, third big chance, Joe Williams fired over from about eight yards out. They're firmly in this game, Bristol City now. They're making a contest of it where if you went off the first 15, 20 minutes, they were absolutely not. Free kick, Bristol City's where. Stand as we get it sort of clear. Ball back in. There we go. 37 in. We have just had a series of brilliant goal saving blocks. One off the line from Jones, one by McLaughlin, one by Seri. Slater's taken one to the nuts. We're, we're hanging on here. We're just about hanging on. After that sequence. Oh, they did it. Scott Twine on the free kick. <coughs> I don't think he'll go for goal, but as Liam Rossini said after the black banging, there's an expectation when he steps up. It's a deep ball. Is that in? Last few seconds of the two minutes added. It might be going a bit longer. Jason Knight's in. Blocked. Just 
just as I stop recording, he puts his flag up and the Sam Steg crowd goes wild. Typical, innit? <laughs> is this going to be it? Is this it now, Ray? Yes, it is. Not a bad half, but I do think we were... Well, since we scored, we've dropped off a little bit, but yeah, on the whole, not too bad. We need to pick it up again in the second half, though. From about 25 minutes, it was pretty much all Bristol City, apart from that one free kick we had. But yeah, not bad, not bad. Here we go, then. Second half underway. Two changes for City on the hour. Liam Salat is the first to come off. He's had a good game today. Got the assist for two fans' goal. And again, it's the stuff you don't often get credited for. It's a striker that Liam Delap has done very well at. Aaron Connolly's coming on to replace him. And Ozan Tuflam is the second change. Replacing him, Oscar Escupinian. It's been coming, and Bristol City finally have their equaliser. Naki Wells scores against us again. And, uh, yeah, cut us open. And it was an easy ball. Carbon copy goal in terms of the finish, more or less, for, for what two fans was. And hopefully that wakes us up a little bit. Because uh, we've had nothing since we scored, really. It's been all them, and they deservedly are back in the game. Corner, Bristol City. Low ball in. Flicked on. Is that going to go in? Don't think so. Free kick. Seri brought down. Twine stood over it. Oh! It wasn't far away. Resulting corner. Twine floated ball in. Easy claim for O'Leary that. Third change for City. Adama Traore, who's just been brought down for a free kick there, is going to come off. And it's going to be Harry Vaughan who's going to replace him. Free kick. It's going to be Twine to take it. Ball in. Corner. Corner ball. From this corner then. Twine ball in. Searching that. Slater's had to go back. He's not from further forward. Three kicks. It is where Slater dummies. Twine with a deep ball in. Greaves heads down. Lucky deflection. No, sadly not. Final City sub. The skipper Louis Coyle coming off. He's going to give the armband to Jacob Greaves by Alfie Jones and Cyrus Christie. He's going to replace him. Long throw this for Bristol City. Harry's corner, I think it is, taking it. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Are we going to get this clear? No, we're not. Quickly! Here we go. Is Sarah's going to get there before Cameron Pring? No, he's not. Another long throw in. Just keep the point, City. Just keep the point. Come on, get it out. Out. Over the top. This will be it. Ball in. Caught by Ingram. That's time. Well, that's that, ladies and gents. Another one done. Ultimately, didn't deserve to win it, I don't think, but we'll take the point. Bristol City had a couple of chances where they could have got clear, didn't. Um, we've got a point. We'll take it. We'll take it. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you for the next one. Up the Tigers. Goodbye.